Hello, and welcome back for another Mario Party 5 minigame review. Today we're playing the 2 vs 2 minigame Bus Buffer. And you guessed it, you're buffing a bus. Sounds really exciting, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. There's wax on the top of the bus, and you and your partner have to buff it off. Gotta make this one nice and shiny. The sort of twist of this one is that controlling the buffer is a little bit difficult to do. And when I say difficult, I don't really mean in a bad way. It just takes some maneuvering. You can't push it forward. You can only go back and forth. I think you're supposed to imagine that it's vibrating so hard that it just doesn't want to go in a straight line. You can only control it by weaving it left and right. Yeah, but once you get used to it, it's kind of fun to control, honestly. You have to be a little bit strategic on the path you take. For instance, if there's one spot that you're missing, if you're too close to it when you turn around to try and get it again, you won't be able to hit it. So instead, you kind of have to walk away from it a few steps and then turn around to get it. It's something to keep in mind. It's kind of like Eats a Pizza from Mario Party 3. You don't want to have to go back for that little bit you left behind, so just clear out your side as much as possible. Although, this one's better than Eats a Pizza, even though it's about a bus and not pizza, because it's not a button masher. They could have easily just redone Eats a Pizza but by cleaning a bus, but they didn't. They made it a little bit different, and I really like it. Yeah, so do I. I definitely prefer this one to Eats a Pizza, although the theming on that one's pretty great. I thought this one was super rewarding to play, and I loved seeing my bus get nice and clean. Yeah, for sure. But I will say that playing with the computer players is a little bit annoying. It seemed like they would always miss a little bit and then not go back for it or come over to where you are and try and buff out the same zone you're buffing out. Just work on your own stuff. Yeah, I feel like they were designed for sabotage. I didn't think they wanted us to win at all. But also, when you and I played on a team and the other team was the two computer players, they did so horrible, it was just really easy to win. Yeah, I guess we should have upped the difficulty on this one. But overall, we still had a pretty great time playing this one. Once you figure out how to maneuver the buffer, it's pretty rewarding to clear off the whole bus. There's not a ton to say about this one, but you'll have a good time with it. It feels really rewarding to clear off the whole bus and win this one. So we're giving it 4 stars out of 5. Well that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Next up, we'll be reviewing Oh no. No, I don't want to play anymore. Yeah, maybe we should just skip this one. For all of you at home, the next minigame is called Button Mashers. So now you see why we might just skip it. Yeah, they're really not even hiding what this one's about. Guess they're going all in on the button mashing. But hey, maybe it'll redeem the whole genre. I doubt it, but maybe we'll give it a try for science. If you want to see if this one's any good, come back for our next video. Hope, Hope to see, see you then. then.